So in this section, we are going to understand how to convert binary code into gray code. So to understand this, let's take an example. It is a binary number 0101. So let's see how to convert this binary into gray code. It is a simple few step process. In step number one, you supposed to place G3 is the same as B3. Now the question is what is G3 and what is B3? So B3 is the MSB of binary code and G3 is the MSB of gray code. So this is the B3, the MSB of binary code. So as per step number one, the MSB of gray code will be the same as MSB of binary code. So we'll write another zero over here. So this will be our G3. So now we'll go for step number two. In step number two, we'll find G2 of gray code. So basically it is the XOR operation of B2 and B3. So it is our B2, so B2 XOR B3. XOR operation of these two will gives us G2. But now here the question is how to do the XOR operation. So in this video, I'm not going to explain in detail how to do the XOR operation, but I'll give you a table of XOR operation and I'll give you a trick of XOR operation. So here is the table of XOR operation. When both the input of XOR gate is same, the output is zero. And when both the input of XOR gate is different, the output is one. So now let's check here. We are going to do B2 XOR B3. So it is B2 XOR B3. So both the input are different. And when both the input are different, the output is one. So B2 XOR B3 will be one. Now we'll go for step number three. Repeat the same. So we are going to repeat the same process. So here we are going to do B1 XOR B2. So B1 and B2, they both are different. And when the both input are different, the output is one. So we'll write one over here. Now again, we are going to repeat the same process. Now again, we are going to follow the same process. B0 XOR B1. When both the digit are different, we are going to write one. So the final answer is 0, 1, 1, 1. And let's check this out, whether it is correct or not. 0, 1, 0, 1 is actually decimal phi. So this phi is 0, 1, 0, 1. And gray code equivalent to this is 0, 1, 1, 1. So that's how you can convert binary to gray. To better understand it, let's take one more example. This is our new binary number, 1100. That is B3, B2, B1. So in step number one, B3 is equal to G3. So we are going to write this one as it is. This one as it is. In next step, we are going to do B2 XOR B3. So when both the input are same, the output of XOR operation is zero. So G2 will be zero. In next step, B1 XOR B2, when both the input are different, output is one. In next step, B0 XOR B1, when both the input are same, output is zero. So this is our final converted gray code. So let's check it out. 1100 0 is actually 12. So 12, 1100 0 0, and the gray code equivalent to 12 is 1010. 0. So that's how you can convert binary code into gray code. And now here there is two quick question for you. Pause the video and convert these two binary numbers into gray code. Write your answer in comments. I'll verify and respond to you whether it is correct or not. Once you are done with the commenting, then we'll move forward. So in this section, we are going to understand how to convert gray code into binary code. So first of all, we'll take a gray code 1001. This is a gray code and we'll check what are the steps to convert gray code to binary code. In step number one, B3 is equal to G3. Now what is G3? G3 is the MSB of gray code. So the MSB of binary code will be the same as MSB of gray code. So we'll write this one as it is over here. Now we'll go for step number two. B2 is equal to B3 XOR G2. Now here it is interesting part. B3, that means this one. G2, that means this one. So here the things are getting interesting. To get B2, you supposed to do XOR operation of B3 and G2. So the XOR operation of these two will give you B2. So here is the table of XOR operation. So now let's do it. 1 XOR 0. 1 XOR 0 gives us 1. So we'll write 1 over here. 
Now let's see what is the step number three. Repeat the same. So we are going to repeat the same process. So again we are going to do B2 XOR G1. So when both input are different, output will be 1. So here there is 1. Again we'll follow the same process B1 XOR G0. So when both the inputs are same, output will be 0. So binary equivalent to this gray code is 1110. So 1001 gray code is for 14. And binary equivalent to 14 is 1110. To better understand this, let's take one more example. This is our gray code G3, G2, G1, G0. So as per step number 1, B3 of binary code is same as G3 of gray code. So this MSB we are going to write as it is. So 0 as it is. Now in next step, B3 XOR G2. When both are different, we'll write 1 over here. So here we have 1. Now in next step, B2 XOR G1. So 1 XOR 1, 0. Now in next step, B1 XOR G0. So 0 XOR 0 is 0. So 0, 1, 0, 0 is the binary equivalent to this gray code. And that you can see over here. So here again you have two quick questions for you. Convert these two gray code into binary and write that thing in comments below. I'll check your comment and then respond to you whether it is correct or not. So see you into the next interesting and very useful video of this playlist.